If you've been around for a while, then you're probably used to seeing us travel in our DIY converted Sprinter van all across North America. But there was a time before the van and the YouTube channel where we used to travel mostly by plane. And today we flew to Colorado to stay at arguably the most expensive hotel we've ever stayed at, the Park Hyatt in Beaver Creek. You might be wondering how we can afford a place like this because when we travel in the van, it's relatively cheap compared to airline and hotel travel. But the answer is credit card points. Oh, it's hot. So, for example, a place like this at the Park Hyatt, during the winter, retails for about $1,000 a night. Now, on top of the room rate, you also pay things like resort fees and taxes. So for the total three nights that we're staying here, if we paid cash, we would pay a whopping $3,459.46. We definitely do not want to be spending that much money for three nights in a hotel. So our method of using points is much more economical for us. We only spend a total of 90,000 points, 30,000 points for each night. And we did this by transferring our points from Chase to Hyatt. Now this isn't your standard king. This is a fireside suite with a fireplace and we use the suite upgrade because we have elite status. But basically we do this all through credit card points. For our flights, we flew from New Jersey to Vail, Colorado and we used our American Express points to pay for our United plane tickets. And then for our rental car, we use Chase points again to pay for the rental car. So our entire trip is covered on points. You might be wondering how we accumulated so many points and miles, but basically it's through credit card sign up bonuses and credit card spend. But I'm not gonna get into too much detail about that. If you're interested, leave us a comment below and maybe we'll put a video together explaining how we do it. Now let's go take a tour of this place. First, we're gonna start with our suite, which is honestly only a fragment of what this hotel has to offer. As you walk in, there are two closets to the right, his and hers. To the left, there is a rather large bathroom with dual sinks, a shower with a bathtub, and a toilet. Pretty standard. But the really cool part of this room is in here. Not only do you have your typical bed and sleeping area, but in this suite, they also have a sitting area with a fireplace, a TV, and a little kitchenette. Just kidding, this isn't a kitchenette. But the best part of this room is the balcony. Not only do we have mountain views, but we have pool and jacuzzi views as well. Before we leave, there is one thing we forgot to do in here. Oh, it's nice. Come take a test. Oh. Sure you wanna leave? Yeah. Free cookies. Oh, that's Come right. On. Free cookies. We're late. <laughs> Beaver Creek has 25 different lifts and 169 different trails, but also includes a super cool village so that you never have to leave. This village includes 26 different restaurants and 27 different shops, including grocery stores, ski shops, souvenir shops, and so much more. They also have fire pits with front row seats of the ice skating rink, really big goggles, and a really nice gym. And heated pool. And five different hot tubs. Free cookies at the base of the mountain at 3 p.m. 
And arguably the best part of this hotel is that it is ski in, ski out. So you literally just walk out the door and you are already on the mountain. Which is the main reason why we're here. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next episode where we show you what it's like to snowboard at Beaver Creek and finally meet up with some friends after chatting online with them for over a year.